This body of work arises from the need to understand the Mesoamerican past of the contemporary Central American. This led me to explore the spiritual world of the classic Maya culture, which is one of the most prolific civilizations of ancient Central America. The Maya spiritual belief system is written in the Maya's ancient text, the Popol Vuh. The focus of this work is to depict the lessons in the Popol Vuh using painting, sculpting, and CGI to elucidate the spiritual values of the Mesoamerican people. I use the Mesoamerican codices, art, and monuments as pictorial guides that inform my depictions of the characters and scenes of their sacred text. I utilize these artistic instruments in order to best decipher what their art and religion has to say to its contemporary audience. My work imagines the spiritual processes that the Mayas most valued. The images are designed to portray the spiritual processes that the Maya were experiencing in their rituals and ceremonies. I painted, sculpted, and used 3D media to depict the stories of the ancient Mesoamerican religion in order to visualize the Maya spiritual world. This work illuminates the social, political, economic, and military reasons why people of Central America have been silenced and exiled from their native countries by wars and armed conflicts. Knowing more about the Popol Vuh will allow us to understand the spiritual history of the ancient Central American people. It gives a voice to a culture that has been drowned in media lies and political propaganda. The stories in its pages teach the reader how the ancient Mayan spirituality still permeates contemporary Central America. The context of this work comes from the cultural change that I as a Central American had to go through at age 5 in the 80s when my family had to immigrate from Nicaragua to the U.S. because of a U.S.-backed counter-revolution. This left an emptiness in my heart, a longing to understand where I came from. This longing led me back to the ancient past where I found in the pages of the Popo Vuh the real spirit and soul of the Central American people. The main purpose of the artwork presented in this essay is to serve as an invaluable pictorial reference for the Popol Vuh. The images created depict the culture, religion, and cosmogony that is described in the Popol Vuh and which is mirrored in all the Mesoamerican art and architecture created in Central America. The images give a new perspective on the Maya conception of the world and what they thought humanity's purpose was here on earth. It is necessary to highlight the cultural importance and undervalued qualities of pre-Hispanic literature reflected in the Popol Vuh, a sacred book of the ancient Maya Quiche, in which the history of the origin of the universe the creation of man and the past events that explain the present of its culture is embodied. The Popol Vuh manifests itself as a pillar of cosmogonic exegesis in the construction of the identity of the Maya Quiche people. That is, it represents a mythical account of the ancestral generations of Maya Quiche culture. It tells the life of the first man and woman who inhabited the earth and delves into various natural elements characteristic of the area inhabited today by the descendants of these early men and women made of maize. Rafael Girard affirms that taken together, the places described, the related practices and customs, the explanation of the origin of man and woman, the conception and denomination of their ancestors, and especially their gods, represent the foundations on which the cultural identity of the Maya Quiche civilization has been built. 
For many years, certain cultures have been exalted over others considered less developed. This can be attributed to ignorance, prejudices, and Eurocentric perspectives on the value of culture. However, in recent years, there has been a change of perspective regarding the study of social phenomena and artistic manifestations. And it is precisely here where we can locate the value that has been given to pre-Hispanic literature. The Popol Vuh contains a set of narratives referring to the gods and notable men and women of the Maya Quiche people. And since it portrays the origin of its people through an allegorical fiction that is shared by all its members, it constitutes the cultural base of this civilization. The work has been recognized by experts as a sample of literary quality. Adrian Racinos defines it as a remarkably structured, unitary work that reveals the presence of a single author endowed with extraordinary artistic ability. The Popo Vu offers an exegesis on the origin of the universe from the conception of the Maya Quiche. The rhetorical structure of the story, which shows the fusion of a written text and an oral text, differs from Western styles and corroborates the hypothesis that the work is an indigenous creation. From this point of reference, we can identify the vital influence that myths have exerted on the everyday reality of cultures. Thus, the role these stories play on forming the collective identity of the Maya Quiche is unquestionable. Rafael Girard reveals that the interpretation of the Maya Quiche environment is reflected in the narrative contained in the Popol Vuh, a work in which we can identify the relationship between the mythical story and the social reality of their civilization. It is important to note that the Popol Vuh initially refers us back to a period before the creation of humanity, a time when everything was still and silent and the gods were deciding how to create the world. The manuscript describes the beginning of the world, which is created by their supreme beings. The creation of man took place after several failed attempts, since in the beginning the gods did not create man, but the creatures that preceded them, that is animals. However, the animals were not able to show gratitude and honor to their creators. Ergo, their destiny from that moment on was to assume their status as inferior creations. Subsequently, the creators used mud to shape the humanoid creatures, but they lacked strength and understanding. Then the wooden people, whose physical constitution was right for a true person, was created. But these, though they multiplied, had no heart, no substance, no blood. They walked aimlessly and did not remember their creators. Finally, in the third attempt, the people made from corn were born, who fulfilled all the expectations of the gods. Although they went beyond what they expected, since they could see everything and therefore had the potential to become gods like the creators. The gods did not accept such a thing, and therefore the vision of mankind had to be limited by the breath of heart of heaven, which was blown into the eyes of these men and women. With their sight limited, these beings became the perfect creation. Here we can identify the matter used for the creation of man, maize, which represents an element of identity in Mesoamerican culture. The maize is a characteristic that defines the Maya Quiche civilization, which historically identifies with that agricultural product. The Popol Vuh text is revisualized using the pre-Columbian codices, art, and temples as guides to tell its story. The aim of this study is to preserve the pre-Columbian roots of the Central American people by presenting this body of work as an artistic instrument to awaken Latin American consciousness and all those interested in the subject.